a bit of a late start for us. We were faffing around sorting out our nutrition strategy, getting every, all the bits together. Okay, so can you see this too? Yeah, all right. Well, this is the start. These are lines here, timelines, right? Start, before the start, I always have breakfast and stuff, but then I'll have this gel of caffeine in it. Booth. Then I will take two bottles, one with this, which has got 80 grams of carbs in it, and one with the electrolytes. I have these two gels in my pocket. Then, next feed zone, I'll have my bag. I should get my bag, hold a second. I'll have a bag, and it's got two compartments in it. We'll show you people. So you've got one water bit there, and then you move it over. You've got another water zone there. And we'll have just plain water in there, because I might have had enough of sugary stuff. So I want to give myself a chance to just have plain water. But I'll have a litre of this stuff in there as well. Plus these gels, then this bottle here will have Red Bull and water. And that will just go in one of these back pockets here. So I can take that out and just get a bit of a boost. I found in training that I hit sort of two to three, two and a half, three hours, and I start to do it like this. So that will just bring me back up again. Next, I will drop the bag with my feed person at this feed zone. This is a feed zone, and I will pick up two bottles. So two bottles, and they will have this again, eight grams of carbs, but also with caffeine and hydration in there, these three gels. The gels are all going to be in my pocket, I'm just using this to show what I'm going to actually eat. Then this one, we're going to have these two and we're going to also have another Red Bull of water that I'll pick up too and that'll take me to the finish. That's a rough plan, there's no real food in here yet but I'm going to make some wee sandwiches just in case. And I've got a pocket situation, I've got three pockets in my back and I'll have the middle pocket will have a combination of these gels and then the right hand pocket will have these ones so I'm not trying to faff around trying to find the right gel that I want, I know roughly where they are and then the other pocket will be a pocket for rubbish until I get to one of the rubbish points to drop it and also my pump and my allen key. Alright, nutrition strategy. We've got a lot here, what's going on? I wouldn't say there's too much of a strategy going on. Um, I would say it's more just, I'd rather carry everything and not use it than be out there doing it and not have it. It's yeah. Pre it's pretty much that. Nice. I know my body uses and needs a lot to keep going, so that's all. Nice. Well, this is, looks like a real nice selection you got going on here. These are a must-have. Probably have those before I start. Hey. <laughs> all of them. They're just, just blows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yep, looks good. Looks solid. How many more. hours are you predicting oh, here? What's the goal? I don't know. 10 hours, 12 minutes. Okay. That's all. Set it. We've driven down to Rotorua and it is getting again. It's raining. The 50 kilometer oh. and the kettle are racing today, so... Apparently, word on the street has it that frontal lobotomy, which is one of the uphill single track climbs, is a bit of a muck mess. So that'll be interesting tomorrow if it does rain overnight as it's supposed to. Anyway, I've got my helmet on in the vehicle because I'm about to go biking. Check out the last little chunk of the course that we didn't check out yesterday. I couldn't do it until the races were finished, so I'm just going to go check out the creek crossing which is where all the spectators stand because it's very close to the finish so i'm gonna go check that out to make sure i don't look like a complete fool um and then yeah then it's gonna be final prep and into it
we actually got a fairly substantial climb just before the finish. I'm really happy to see this because you don't, uh, it's easy to tell yourself you're at the finish when you're not and then get surprised like this and lose your head, so. Nice. <laughs> All right, biking's done, and now we're gonna go and get dinner and stuff from the supermarket. We're not very prepared, but it's all good because there's convenient food easily available. So it'll be a swift dinner, and then uh, we'll just be loading with some more carbs, ready for tomorrow. Hi, right, we're here, but Yuki is doing the hundred miles. He's going to bed, so we're being quiet. He starts at four. A.M. So we're having dinner. Very basic. Some microwave rice and some tuna. Keeping it low fiber. Um, high carb. Bit of protein. Um, walk 100 put us up for the night. So thanks guys. Awesome. What you got? Everything. Feeling. Well, that's it. Eight weeks of work to this point. One more sleep. Tomorrow morning, we race. So, um, now I feel good because everything's done. All my bottles are where they need to be and everything's kind of ready. So, now I just get to do it. But when I have to, on the build up during the week and stuff, it's a bit more nerve wracking because you got to be patient and just do the last bits. But I didn't get ill, managed everything really well, got some incredible consistency for how much was going on in my life. So I'm really happy with that. And now we just got to execute. But we don't know what's going on with this weather. How much rain is going to rain overnight? I rode a bit of the track today, it wasn't too wet, but the tyres I've got, that back tyre is not going to be any good if it's really mushy, so I will be running a lot, but it's a really long race, and if it is dry weather tomorrow, then it should dry out quite quickly, so I'm just looking forward to giving it everything. And finishing unable to walk is the goal. <laughs> Then I can have a burger. Yum, my favorite. <laughs> so sub seven hours, that's the goal. 
the race doesn't begin till 50 k's for me, so I'm going to be trying to be as smart as possible, fueling, hydrating, and just kind of ticking off all that process stuff. And then once I hit 50 k's, I can start going full ham, and I can't wait. We're here with the crew. We're here with the crew. The boys to make it happen. All right, we're getting told if you want to follow the race, you need to get the app. Is that right? Walk 100 app. Yep. Download it. You can look up Katie's participant race number 85. Follow yep. her, and then under tracking, you'll be able to track her through the day. And those, she goes are, over those are all, all the, the different points. points. I'll go across, and then you'll get an update. Thanks, Chris.